Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. Here's today's question. Rakesh, I am a very senior manager in a big company and I deal a lot with clients. And I feel that my negotiation skills uh, are not there yet. I'm a little uncomfortable with it as well. What are your tips on negotiation? Very broad, open question. Somewhere in the past, I had done negotiations for salaries that had a very different view and process. Uh, but in this video, I think we'll take a broad scope because it's a very broad topic. And I must tell you, um, many of you who aspire to become great managers and leaders, your ability to sit at the table and negotiate is very critical because at some point of time, negotiation is that process to change the other person and also get what you want. And in that process, the relationship becomes either very strong or it breaks down. And if you're a great manager and leader, you will attempt to get what you want and not dilute the relationship. And your ability to create value for everyone is what leadership becomes at some point of time. So negotiation becomes that give and take and there are lots of movies where you'll see negotiations, uh, you'll see flavors of it. Uh, sometimes it is just a bargaining, which is very irritating, petty and non-scientific. So you just throw numbers at each other and somewhere come to the middle point. But negotiation is much, much more than that. Uh, some of the best movies you can see on negotiation is, I think there was a movie about the Cuban Missile Crisis 13 days, if I'm not mistaken, that really looked at long forms of negotiation, which are diplomatic, uh, happen in public spaces, the media is watching, the presidents are involved, the whole world is on pins and needles because it could trigger a world war. So then how does the diplomat negotiate and what does, what, what happens? So watch movies like 13 days, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of my favorite movies which I show in my classes when I do the session on negotiation is um, Julia Roberts at her finest. Uh, the movie was called Erin Brockovich. And the movie has more than 10 scenes where negotiations happen because there is a company which is, you know, spilling chemicals and they are very bullying and badly behaved juggernauts ki kya kar loge. And they send one, you know, small time lawyer uh, to just signal ki ar, you're, you're so small that we'll send you our smallest, youngest lawyer to take care of you. And negotiation mein sab kuch hota hai. It's a process that is really intense. So let me give you some foundations of uh, the laws that operate in negotiation and then I'll give you my suggestions that I use. Uh, by the way, disclaimer, I'm not an excellent negotiator. I negotiate to survive. That's all I do. Um, I think negotiation is an amazing skill. I've seen some of my friends and my mentors and my investors negotiating very nicely. I'm not even a millionth of them. So I just want you to know that I'm not a great expert, but from my practice and theory and communication, I know how to do a good negotiation. That's what I'm going to tell you. Now, some fundamental laws. The first important law you must realize is regardless of who you are, at the negotiation table, nobody wants to give away anything. It's a very strange dynamic. You know, all of you who have read this book where you have to win, win and all that, honestly, in a meeting room, things are very different. Greed plays a very critical role. It should not, but be aware that both parties want to maximize that meeting or that process. Ki boss, jitna mil jai, le lo. And uh, don't, don't shy away from that. And while in many books it should be written that you must win, win and you know, give and get um, reality of life books ki tarah nahi hoti hai, wahan pe kafi dynamics chalte hai. So I'm giving you these foundational rules that in that meeting room, whether you are negotiating and your client is negotiating against you, both of you want to maximize because your success depends on this meeting. So lalaj to hogi ki jitna milega, utna zada fayda. So both parties do not want to lose anything. There is a loss aversion 
that happens in both parties and that loss aversion creates this tension and the stress so be aware of it dono parties ko sab kuch chahiye aur koi chhodne wala nahi hai and that creates tension stress anxiety number 2 lot of power dynamics and uh, power dynamics are dangerous because depends on who needs that more and i'll tell you that you know as a company which is smaller the bigger company sometimes calls the shots and i've worked with large conglomerates when you are working for a large conglomerate and uh, you know these conglomerates have power on the technology jo negotiating table ke against tha wo bechare uske paas koi power hi nahi hoti thi kahan jaoge matlab imagine you are thirsty and there is only one uh, agency which gives water what negotiation will you do so this person who controls water will behave very badly wo 10 rupaye ki jagah 100 rupaye lega aapko dena padega so it depends on needs and you need to be aware of it ki kiski need zyada hai and because of that thoda sa bullying hoti hai badly behaved hota hai in fact in this uh, movie called uh, uh, erin erin brockovich julia roberts which i mentioned earlier i forgot to give the name usme scenes hai where the lawyers of this big chemical company are very badly behaved they say sentences like hum log 28 billion dollar company chalate hain very intimidating bullying tactics and you have to deal with that because they are very different and they control the shots but then the way the julia roberts team handles that is very very good one of my favorite examples was my own boss uh, my boss's boss when i was in a multinational and he took me one day as my training i was very rookie new business development manager in the team to wo us ka tha very smart guy and bolta hai rakesh chal aaj tere ko <coughs> real life negotiation ka training deta hu main so he took me to this room i will not name this client let's call it a big company who used to buy things from us and very big client aur negotiation chal raha hai we are selling something and they are negotiating on the price and uh, my boss had warned me that when we go into the room don't say anything main jo karta raha just kind of support me and i may do something very silly and ask you to very openly i'll ask you something just respond in the best of your ability so i said okay dekhte hain kya hota hai so we go into this room and it's a cold damp room there are two people from their side and two of us and uh, before meeting starts that person starts to shout and yell ki hum ye order cancel kar denge and uh, tum log ye nahi karte wo nahi karte and literally badly behaved and i was shocked because i thought ki negotiation are very sophisticated polished and all that stuff nothing gali galoch shuru ho gayi so my boss's boss who was a seasoned 30 year old veteran looks at me takes out a 100 rupee note and puts it in my pocket aur bolta hai ki rakesh tere ko maine kaha tha na ye chillayenge to and i took the cue and i just said yes yes aapne kaha tha and i also started laughing i had no idea what i was doing and then my boss's boss turned very coolly at these two people who were shouting and saw this 100 rupee note coming in my pocket and my boss's boss very coolly discussing their entire behavior changed and then my boss took a stand and said ki yaar ye log hum roz karte hain aap jaise logon ke sath chillana negotiate karna is my daily job I do it for a living. Ab baat karo kya chahiye. And the whole dynamic of the t- uh, meeting changed. And I thought that was such an amazing acting my boss's boss did. So a uh, ground rule number 2 that it is a power dynamics and behavioral meeting. So you have to start playing a game. It's like a game of chess. Usme acting acting sab chalti hai. You have to understand the other move of the person and change your behavior. This is not a very clean system. it is highly objective it depends on the behavior of the other person your behavior and you have to learn to deal with it so please learn to think of a game of chess highly dependent on communication and you have to behave and act and this comes with expertise and uh, observation the last one the fourth one negotiation ke liye bahut brain power chahiye you need to think on your feet because you don't know kya googly marega wo so it's a powerful system that's where your curiosity creativity should be very high your preparation should be very high agar nahi karoge pitoge 
So these four ground rules, that ground rule number one, that it is uh, nobody wants to lose. Ground rule number two, power dynamics are there, bad behavior is there. Ground rule number three, that it's a game of chess, using words. So you have to be very careful. Kya bola, kya nikla, kya suna is very, very important. And last, it needs brain power on your feet. Aur usse mein agar aap dar gaye, aapka confidence shatter ho gaya, you will lose. Because the other person will pummel you with their demands and you will have to accept. So be very careful. Your negotiation is a very important tool to define your leadership. So you have to be extra careful. Now let me give you some tips. Tip number one, whatever you do, never go unprepared in a negotiation. Bahut preparation karni padti hai. You have to study who you are negotiating with. You have to understand what you can give, what you want, what do they want, anticipate all of that. Thoda sa research karo ki past mein kya hua, kaise wo deal shape kari, apne colleagues se baat karo ki boss, chal kya raha hai, how do I close this? So prepare. And you should have this some kind of a strategy where you and your boss and your team know ki boss, isse aage hum log nahi jayenge, isse peechhe hum log nahi jayenge. So, you create your plans, you create the documents, proofs, whatever it is, and it's a very scientific process. Bargaining is non-scientific. Throw a number, mid-ground pe aa gaya. Serious negotiations are very scientific. There are documents you have to read and submit. Ki boss, hamara price structure ye hai. This is where we will come and it's a very complex system. And companies, sometimes a negotiation takes for months. So you have to really prepare. It's not like one hour and it's all done. So never go unprepared. Uh, tip number two, always know what you want. And that's where you have to be assertive. This is where I find a lot of people hesitate ki bhai chahiye kya aapko. And you know, it's like a game of tash ke patte ki zyada dikhao mat. I understand that. But if you're not clear what you want to achieve, I think you'll do a bad job. But you don't have to be very clear in the first minute. It's a game, warm up a little bit maximize, see what all things they are willing to give. But you have to be very clear what you want and you have to be very clear what you can't give. And this is called assertiveness. Agar assertive nahi hoge, wo dusri party chad jayegi aapke upar or your negotiation goes into a different trajectory. Regardless of the power structure, you must be assertive. Because if the other person is very assertive, they will misuse it. And if you're assertive, which demonstrates your confidence, I think you will change the dynamics of negotiation very easily. So assertiveness helps in changing the dynamics. Number three, listen to what they are saying. This is hard. loss aversion, stress, tension mein bahut baat karne ka man karta hai, interrupt karne ka man karta hai. But listen, good negotiators don't speak much, they listen. And they want the other party to open up. Ki boss, tell me what do you want and why do you want it? It's very important. Sometimes the other person will even tell you, sir, ye nahi hoga, kyunki some issue, issue, issue. And you suddenly get very good insights, ki boss, looks like this is a great thing I can use to negotiate better. So listen. In fact, the other person will exactly tell you sometimes, kaise isko solve karna hai. sun lo. And just listen and go with the flow. And sometimes they will tell you what they want and why they want it. And that's amazing for negotiation. Fourth, this is a technique that works like a charm with me. Sometimes negotiation mein ladai jhagde ho jate hain, heated discussions ho jate hain. So remember, you don't have to close everything in one meeting. Learn to break. The best strategy is that let's say the negotiation is not going anywhere. Say two, three things. One, let's take a five minute bio break. Chai wai pi ke aajau. Let's start all over again. It works like magic. Number two, Sometimes even say ki looks like we're unproductive today. Char din baad milte hai. That gives you four days to prepare and go back to all the notes and prepare harder. You can do that. And number three, if you think that things are not going anywhere or ye to bilkul breaking your head against a wall hai, say that we tried, kuch nahi hua. But at least it's very important for you to know that the issue is closed. And you have to remember that negotiation not always results in the best results. Sometimes they are deadlocks. So you should learn how to come out of a deadlock. Agar baat aage nahi bad rahi hai, chhod do usko and say, we'll revisit it at some other time. Because after a point, it won't work. So that's break if unproductive and reconvene. And the last one, which is the most important, 
Remember, negotiation happens between two parties, your client and you. It's a trust. And the trust can break if the negotiation is done very badly. Us din agar aapne apne client ko gussa karwa diya, wo nahi aayega wapis. And if you get into a rut with your own thought processes, the trust breaks between you and the other person. So it's a golden opportunity for you to do a good negotiation. You get what you want, maximize it and also allow the other person to maximize. Because jab wo hota hai, to trust ban jata hai. And trust is an amazing platform to do negotiation. So that next time the negotiation is a lot more better. Varna hamesha ladai jhagada hoga. Very stressful. After some time you feel disgusted ki yaar this is not done. And that's not negotiation. Negotiation is actually a very good tool. It changes people. And you can change people to make them listen to you. And you should change to listen to them. So both people become a better version of themselves. And I find negotiation is the reason why we humankind have become what we are. We change. We listen to each other. Every day we negotiate with each other. And we do it because we want to have something that we want and something they want. And there's a negotiated settlement. That negotiated settlement is what our society is. So I believe in that. And that's where I'll summarize the five tips for you. That one, never go unprepared. Never ever. Second, be very assertive. Be very clear kya chahiye aapko. Number three, Listen to what they want and why. It's very critical for you to know ki, what is the reason they are asking this. And they will tell you. Number four, if it is unproductive, break it or reconvene. And number five, maintain trust to the best of your ability. If you follow these five tips, you will do a much better negotiation and you will come out of that room a changed person with a stronger relationship with the other person and it will be good for your career as well. On that note, stay safe.